Welcome to Big Data Analytics Tutorial. In this video, I will discuss text mining. First, we will see what is a text mining. Text mining is an art and science of discovering knowledge, insights and patterns from an organized collection of uh, textual databases. Nowadays, uh, text has become an important uh, part of uh, growing data in the world. Uh, the, uh, due to the advancement in uh, social media technologies, the users uh, become the producers of uh, the textual data. Usually the users uh, uh, put the textual data in uh, social medias. Along with text, uh, they used to post uh, videos as well as images also. The text mining can help, uh, can be applied to a large scale uh, so social media data for gathering uh, preferences and uh, measuring the emotional sentiment of a particular person towards a product or service or a company and so on. The text mining can also be applied to societal, organizational and individual problems. Text mining works on text from practically any kind of sources from any business domains in any formats including uh, word formats, uh, word documents, PDF files, XML files and so on. So we can use uh, text mining in any business domain. The data can be in any format. It may be in a word format or it may be in uh, a PDF, XML, JSON or anything. In, uh, on in any kind of data we can apply text mining uh, over here. Now uh, there are some of the examples where we can use uh, text mining. One is uh, we can use uh, text mining in legal profession. We can use in academic research. Uh, the text mining can be used in uh, world of uh, finance, medicine, marketing. It can also be used in uh, world of technology as well as search engines. Now uh, we will see what is uh, text mining process. The text mining is a semi-automated process. Uh, text mining needs uh, the data to be gathered from uh, multiple number of uh, sources. So once the data is gathered, the next uh, very important thing is to structure that particular data. Because uh, the textual data is in unstructured format, it is a free flowing uh, data. We cannot directly apply uh, data mining techniques on uh, uh, textual data. So first we need to structure that particular thing. Uh, once uh, we create a structure for uh, the textual data, we can apply any of the uh, data mining techniques so that we can uh, get the, uh, the result out of it or we can get some knowledge or insights out of that particular textual data. So this is how we actually the text mining uh, process looks like. The very first thing as I told you earlier, we need to gather the data. Once you gather the data, we need to clean that particular data and then prepare for analysis. So what is cleaning? Uh, cleaning is nothing but uh, uh, there may be some stop words in that particular data. So remove those particular uh, stop words. And then there may be something like uh, uh, irrelevant uh, words may be present in that particular data. So try to remove those part of thing. And then uh, once everything is done, it is uh, ready for uh, uh, analysis purpose. Now, once the data is available or ready for analysis, uh, before you start analysis, we need to create what we can say that uh, uh, term document matrix. What is term document matrix is we cannot directly apply uh, data mining on textual data. The textual data has to be converted into numeric data. So that is nothing but uh, we have to create a numeric uh, a matrix from textual data. So that numeric matrix is nothing but uh, the term document matrix in this case. So while uh, preparing uh, a term document matrix, we need to follow certain steps. So we'll discuss those part of things in the next slide. Once you create a term document matrix and the next thing is uh, you need to create or you can say that uh, you need to apply the data mining techniques uh, like classification, cluster, regression and so on and uh, you need to get the result out of it. So that is how uh, the text mining process looks like. Uh, in a text mining compared to text mining and data mining uh, we have one extra thing that is something called as a term document matrix so we need to create. Uh, but uh, when it comes to data mining, we have a data which is uh, we need to uh, collect the data. That's the first part, and then we need to apply uh, the data mining techniques directly. Okay. Now coming back to this uh, term document matrix, uh, this is the heart of uh, uh, text mining process. The free flowing text uh, cannot be transformed in uh, cannot be directly used for uh, data mining. So first we need to convert that uh, free flowing text into a numeric data. Uh, once you create a numeric data, then we can apply any uh, data mining techniques depending on our requirement. So what we do in the uh, creating of uh, text term document matrices, 
uh, we will uh, select the very important words from each of the documents and then we will create a columns for that uh, uh, using those particular uh, words the very important words you can say and then uh, for every document we will create a uh, row in that case now uh, we will check whether that particular word is present in a given document if it is present we will mark it as it's present otherwise uh, we will say that it is not present there are some different uh, things we can use uh, like we just mark it as it's present or not present sometimes we can put the frequency how many times it is present in that document and so on such kind of things we can do but uh, what we do is we will uh, select very important words from the document and then uh, we will put those particular words as a columns and the documents will be the rows of that particular term document matrix okay uh, the the second thing important thing is i said we need to select the important words uh, that is the another important part of uh, text mining whenever you do text mining uh, we need to select those words which are which will reflect what whatever the problem you are solving for example if you are solving uh, you can say that um, the sentiment analysis related uh, problem we need to select the doc uh, words from the documents which will reflect the sentiment of uh, uh, that particular document for example you are trying to uh, do some uh, uh, can say text mining on a legal document you need to select the words which will be which will reflect the re uh, that particular real world uh, problem so something like that we need to do it now this is how actually the term document matrix looks like as i told you earlier uh, the rows will be the documents and the columns will be the words from uh, those particular documents if you look at this particular thing uh, in document one investment appears 10 times so that is what actually the meaning the profit appears four times happy appears three times success appears four times and so on there were some other words are there and investment doesn't appears in document 3 and document 5 and uh, profit doesn't appears in uh, document 3 and document 6 and so on so we need to count uh, how many number of times that particular uh, word appears in a given document and then we need to put it into this uh, uh, matrix okay so once this particular matrix is available to you you can apply any of the uh, data mining techniques because uh, now the data is structured and uh, we have the data in numeric format so definitely we can apply uh, the data mining techniques over here before we go to that particular part uh, first we'll try to understand or uh, we need to uh, understand what are the different uh, things we need to remember whenever we want to create a term document matrix so uh, uh, we have a large collection of when we have a large collection of data uh, what we need to do is uh, uh, if you collect all the data uh, all the words from uh, those particular documents so it may become that uh, your matrix will become a very huge uh, it, it, it may give you something called as uh, uh, you may end up with something called as uh, overfitting problem so to avoid that particular thing what we need to do is we need to reduce the dimensionality of that particular data so that we can improve the speed of the analysis as well as we can avoid the uh, the overfitting issues so th th that is the one thing we need to do this, there are some uh, synonyms may be there uh, so if you have some synonyms or you can say that the words with similar meaning uh, try to have it once rather than having it multiple number of times in your uh, term document matrix so that's uh, another thing we need to remember uh, the second thing is like uh, uh, whenever we want to create a term document matrix uh, we need to uh, do one thing we need to uh, clean uh, clean that particular data for spelling errors there may be sp some spelling errors remove those particular spelling errors that's a one thing uh, for example usually the people write bcz for because c o o l that is cool may be written like c o l l l something like that so try to uh, convert those party things into a proper word that's another thing uh, the uppercase and lowercase uh, letters doesn't matter in uh, text mining so uh, if you have it once it's more than enough either in uppercase or in lowercase definitely fine I can it, those can be combined into one word when many variants of the same words are used uh, for example you can say that order ordering order data and so on so rather than having something like uh, three times uh, we can put that particular word once in that term document matrix that's the one more thing we can do uh, there is another possibility like uh, the same word may be used in a different context for example uh, let us say that uh, the customer has ordered a particular product that is a one way of using order there is another way of using order is the boss has ordered that the customer data analysis should be presented in a chronological order this order and the customer has ordered for a particular product these two are totally different in this case so we should have uh, uh, different uh, columns for these particular words these are called as homonyms 
the terms with the few occurrences in a few documents should be eliminated they they will not give any value to your uh, analysis so definitely we need to remove the terms with very few occurrences and uh, in a very few what we can say that uh, the documents the measures in each uh, cell of the matrix could be one of the several possibilities uh, for example as i said earlier in the previous example uh, you can count that particular word in a given document uh, i can then you can put the frequency how many number of times it appears that's a one possibility the second possibility is uh, count the number of times that particular word appears in all the documents and then put the uh, the relative uh, frequency that is another possibility the third possibility is what uh, we just make the uh, mark whether that particular word is present or not or we can put the, uh, we can say that something like uh, the standard deviation of that particular word with respect to that document and so on so these are some of the different ways with which we can put values into that matrix it depends on our analysis it is not hard and fast to that we need to put frequency only or we need to put whether the word is present or not it is not uh, uh, there is a, it's not like any restrictions are there we can use any of the methods which are useful or we can say which will give better results for our analysis so these are some of the uh, things we need to remember whenever we want to consider uh, or can say whenever we want to create the term document matrix in this case so very important uh, things are there so uh, once you create term document matrix we can use uh, different text uh, data mining techniques on the top of this particular uh, structured data so, uh, so to extract the knowledge or the insights from the textual data in this case the next thing is uh, we will compare the text mining techniques with uh, data mining how text mining differs from data mining so that is what actually we are trying to understand so uh, these are some of the different uh, factors we have considered for uh, comparing the text mining with data mining the first factor is the nature of data when it comes to nature of data the text mining uh, in text mining the data is uh, unstructured uh, we use something called as words phrases or sentences when it comes to data mining uh, we have something called as numbers alphabetic alphabets or can say that the logical values we have so definitely uh, the data mining uh, uses uh, the structured data but uh, when it comes to text mining we have unstructured data so that unstructured data has to be converted into structured data before we go with uh, uh, the data uh, applying the data mining techniques on the top of it so that's the one thing the language used uh, usually uh, any language is used in uh, textual data it may be english hindi or anything any 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 language may be used there is no restriction on the language when it comes to uh, data mining uh, numerical uh, system is used because everything is in the form of numbers so definitely numerical system is used the clarity and precision the sentence can be ambiguous the sentiment uh, may contradict uh, the words so that's a possibility in uh, text mining but when it comes to data mining the numbers are precise there is no uh, contradiction between the numbers if i say 100 it's 100 only we cannot change the hundreds meaning as uh, 10 or something but uh, there is a possibility of uh, ambiguous uh, knowledge out of uh, the sentences consistency uh, different parts of the text can contradict with each other uh, definitely that's possible uh, if you have a sentence uh, or can say multiple number of uh, sentence in a document each document uh, each sentence uh, may contradict with one another that's definitely possible but that may not be the case in uh, data mining because uh, the data is uh, uh, consistent uh, uh, because the numerical data uh, it definitely is uh, consistent when it comes to uh, sentiment uh, the text may represent a clear and consistent or mixed sentiment uh, that may not be the case in uh, data mining because uh, we have a textual uh, numerical data that may not give you the sentiment out of that particular uh, uh, the data quality definitely the uh, spelling errors will be there in text mining different values of uh, proper nouns such as names varying quality of uh, language translations may be there in uh, text mining when it comes to data mining uh, we come up with something called as uh, uh, missing values outliers redundancy and so on so we do have some issues in uh, data mining but uh, compared to text mining uh, these issues are quite uh, easy to uh, un understand as well as uh, easy to uh, rectify that's that's possible in data mining the nature of analysis uh, textual data is used for uh, keyword based searched coexistence uh analysis and the sentiment or emotional uh, mining uh we can use uh, data mining for any statistical uh or machine learning analysis for understanding the relationships and di differences between the data and so on so it has its own uh, 
uh, advantages but uh, when it comes to text mining we cannot say that text mining is a separate entity text mining is uh, can say that uh, uh, end of the day we need to use data mining on the top of text mining because uh, we have a text text is converted into structured data and then uh, we need to apply data mining techniques on the top of it so that we will come up with the results so definitely data mining is needed in uh, text mining also so in this video i have given a brief introduction about uh, text mining what is text mining how the text mining uh, works that is the process of text mining you can see uh, how to create uh, uh, or how to convert unstructured data into structured data with the help of uh, term document matrix and finally we have discussed uh, uh, what are the difference between the text mining and the data mining techniques i hope this particular concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends